All right, good. Okay. Okay, Hello? teacher. All right, good afternoon, Ken. Are you using good to afternoon. Okay, who is that? Is that your mom? My mom. Oh, no. <laughs> it's your mom. Where are you? Are you at home or in your big house? My big house. Oh, you're in your big house. I think there are many people in your big house today. Yes. Yes, why? What's the occasion? What the hell? Who is that? Ah. Oh, my God. What's the problem? Lê Thị Hồng Hoa. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't know. What about your internet? I think your internet is good. Yes. Yeah, okay. of course. No, okay. nothing. All right, it's nothing. Okay, that's good. All right, Ken. Okay, how are you today? I'm good. You're good. Okay, that's good to hear because last. Wow, you're good but, because. You're... But I have a headache. Oh no, you have headache. Oh, uh, did you take medicine? I can you speak again? Or uh, can you? I mean. Did you take a medicine? Did you take medicine for your headache? No, oh, I don't. No, you didn't. Okay. Maybe after you dr uh, drink your juice later, right, your headache will be gone. Right? I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so. Again. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, who's this? Okay. All right, so, okay, so now, Ken, we will continue our lesson last meeting here. All right, Ken, kindly read the message and then please remove. Um, oh, oh, no, don't she remove. No, no, don't remove her, okay? Why, oh. are you removing her? Yes. Oh, it says don't remove her, right? What? Who are we, who are we saying? She's your homeroom teacher. I don't she know too. Good. Yeah, so please don't remove me from your call. Okay. Ah, did you call her? I mean, did you remove her? Yes. Why? Oh, why did you remove her again? All right, come on. Let's call again and then maybe she wanted to join our class. Okay, be good, okay? I don't think so. All right, I'll call you back. Maybe she wanted to join, okay? What? Can I? No. Yes, because she said don't remove me from call. I don't care. Who is she? She's your homeroom teacher. Oh, no. She's the one who handles you. Ah. Ah, uh, did you get it now? No, but don't remove the cone. She, yes. if she want, if she want to um go to cone, she have to try. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So maybe we know we don't need to end the call. So please, yes. if she wanted to 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 join, don't uh, don't remove her. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Maybe she wanted to listen. Uh huh. So we need to be good here. All right, Ken, we will continue our lesson now about, oh, can you see my screen first? Yes. Yes, okay, that's good to hear. So last time, Ken, oh, no, 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 we shouldn't use this one. Okay, wait. All right, wait a moment. All right, we are now in number four, right? Okay, so last time, all right, we have learned about puzzles and there are many puzzles. Okay, I showed you last time about this puzzle. All right, this one, crosswords. We called it crosswords, okay? So what about rubrics? Do you think rubrics is also a puzzle? I don't know. 
You don't know, okay? So rubrics. A Rubik's. All right, Rubik's Cube, all right? I think that is also one of uh, the kind of puzzle, all right? One of uh, bad kinds because you're going to, to arrange it, right? Arrange by colors, arrange by shapes, okay? What about okay. number th uh, part three, Ken? Okay, why do parents let their children play puzzles? Oh, what do you think? Why is your mom wanted you to play Rubik's Cube? Because my mom wanted to make um, his life smarter than... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, very good. So can you say, my mom wants me to play Rubik's Cube because she wants me to become smarter. Can you say that? What in Switzerland? Uh, my, okay, <laughs> here, I will type this word. You can say, my mom wants me to play Rub okay, a Rubik's Cube, all right, because she wants me to become smarter. Okay. Smart or smarter? Then. Right, so you can say my mom wants me to play Rubik's Cube because she wants me to become smarter than other kids? Yes, I think so. Yes, okay, very good. So do you think you become smarter when you play a Rubik's Cube? I don't know. You don't know. Do you still play it? What? Do you still play a uh, Rubik's Cube? No. No, okay, not anymore. So what about number two? What kinds of puzzles improve people's intelligence? Mm -hmm. What kinds of puzzles improve people's intelligence? Mm. I don't know. I don't know about do a uh, palace. All right. So, oh, you don't know about puzzles? All right. I'll show you different, okay, different kinds of puzzles. Right. These are different kinds of puzzles. Right. So, we have this one, okay. All right. These are types of puzzles. Seven types of puzzles for preschooler or for preschooler, these are for children. Okay, for young children, okay? But for you, uh, for your age, of course, you can do Rubik's Cube. You can do crosswords like this. Do you know this kind of puzzle? Mm -hmm. Okay, we also have this one, word search puzzle. <clears throat> this one, all right? You need to, to find the same shape to form, okay, to form a picture or to form the shape, okay? All right, so there are a lot, okay? There are lots of puzzles. So do you think it will help you improve your intelligence? Can you speak again? Okay. <clears throat> One more time, Ken. Do you think puzzles improve people's intelligence? No, I don't. Oh, so why? Why you don't think so? Because I don't think so. <laughs> what, Ken? You don't think so. What about intelligence? Do you know the word intelligence? Yes. Okay. Ken, do you think you're intelligent? 
No. No, you don't think so. But your mom, okay, but your mom wants you to become more intelligent. That's why she's enrolling you here in this center to learn English, okay? To improve your skills, especially the way you speak. All right, your mom wants you to become more intelligent. That's why she asked you to drink the juice, right? Yes. Okay. So I believe that puzzles, okay, puzzles helps improve people's intelligence because, all right, you will think, all right, you will think carefully, okay? Okay. Yes, all right. What about number three, Ken? Number three, all right, I want you to answer this question, so please answer in a complete sentence, okay? Why are detective stories attractive to people? Okay, do you know the meaning of detective? Yes. All right, so can you tell me something about this word? Okay, it's like Conan. All right, very good. Detective Conan. He's a detective, right? So what does he do? Uh, see, uh, he is and something is flawed. Okay, he experiments, he do experiments. He experience. also... Ex oh, experience. Explore. Explore. Okay, very good. That is his job, to find something, right? For example, uh, there is a missing thing or a missing person. So they're going to solve that problem. They're going to find that person, okay? But okay. when we say, what about detective stories? When we say detective stories, what does it mean? That means Conan story. Conan stories. <laughs> All right. So, yes, Detective Conan is an example. So, when we say Detective Story Skin, it means the reader, okay? The reader will, will think, right, critically or carefully, okay, about the story. What is happening in the story, okay? That is why it is attractive. And when we say attractive, it means? What? All right, attractive. Uh, attractive mean, attractive means? Attractive uh, means? Like exciting, exciting uh, or something. All right, exciting or beautiful or, yes. all right. Okay, so detective stories attract people. It means people like to read detective stories because they're going to think carefully, okay? How about you, Ken? Do you like reading detective stories? No, I don't. No, you don't. What about Detective Conan? No, I don't too. No, you don't too. But how did you know Detective Conan if you didn't read it? I just know because, uh, because my sister likes Conan. Okay, so your sister likes Detective Conan. All right. So maybe you can also try, right, reading this kind of stories. Maybe you will like it. The next question, Ken, we have, uh, which do you think is better? A detective movie or its original novel? All right, so Ken, I will explain what is the meaning of novel. When we say novel, it is a book, all right? It is a thick book or a thick story, like for example, this one. All right, this is an example of novel, all right? Okay. Yes, have you seen a novel? Yes, I see. Ah, oh, no, I don't. I never see that. Oh, all right. So when we say novel, can these are books? 
Okay, these are stories, all right, that you cannot finish right away because they are thick. Okay, next one. All right, let's continue the question here. So which do you think is better, kid? A movie, right, detective movie or reading the original book? Detective movie. All right, so why? Why do you think it is better? Because it, uh, because it is sad to All right. Can you answer in a complete sentence? All right. Kindly say, a detective movie is... Better than... Mm -hmm. It's better, better than... than original novel. Because? Um, because I think so. All right, because you think so. But you said your answer a while ago. You said it is more? Uh, excited. All right. Oh, excited or excited? Exciting. Yes, very good. All right, so I will repeat your answer. You said a detective movie is better than original novel because it is more exciting all right so can have you heard or have you watched the movie of harry potter what? harry harry potter have you watched it no i know oh. this i know this story but i don't know i not what that all right i not watched that can you say i haven't watched it yet One more time, Ken. I know this story, but I haven't watched it yet. The actual story, but I don't want the story. Okay. All right. Yes, Ken. So Harry Potter has a movie, okay? It has a movie and it has a book. So when you read the book, it is very long. It's a thick novel. All right. Yes. But Yes, okay. It has seven books or seven seasons. All right. So when you watch it, of course, you can see what is happening. All right. But when you read it, it is also beautiful or it is also good when you read the book because, all right, you fully understood or you fully understand what's happening. Okay. Because sometimes, sometimes when you watch a movie, they they cut some parts it means they make it shorter okay okay all right so we have number five kindly read number five okay this right allow this right allow even huh in vinyl romantic projection should have okay very good Ken kindly read this word again environment uh environmental environmental all right so Ken when we say environmental that is about our nature so can you tell me something about nature what can you see when we say nature Nature. Yeah, nature. You can see trees. Yes, I know. Very oh. good. Trees, mountains, river, lakes, rocks, flowers. Those are all nature. So now we will describe a law. Okay. On environmental protection, your country should have. So when we say law, can it is what have you heard this word law you need to follow the law what does it mean i think that i don't have any idea Be yeah. mm -hmm. for example traffic law right Traffic law, like the red, green, and yellow light. 
So you need to follow that. Okay, but here we will talk about the rules on how to protect our environment or our nature. So you will answer this question. Number one, what is it or what it is? Do you know some law in your country? No. Do you know? Okay, no. What about rules? The rules that you need to do for you to protect your nature. Is it allowed in your country to cut trees? Yes. Oh, it's allowed? You can cut trees? I mean, many trees. Yes, I think so. Oh, for example, in the mountains or in the Amazon. But in Vietnam, it's not like another country, so... <laughs> All right. For example, Ken, okay, I'll show you an example. All right. For example, this one. All right. Amazon rainforest. Do you know this one? Yes. Yes. So do you think, okay, do you think you can cut trees here in this Amazon forest? Do you think no. people know very good why? Why do you think it is not allowed to cut trees here? Because they're very important. The tree is very important. Okay, the trees are very important. Oh. Very good because there are many, what? There are many animals or species, yes. different kinds of animals, different kinds of birds, different kinds of trees, plants, that live here, okay? So that is a law, all right? That is a law, they need to follow that. But look what is happening, right? It's burning, right? There's a fire, maybe because it's too hot, all right? So it's very scary. Okay, what about in your country, Ken? Uh, what about in your country? Do you also have some forest? Or mountains? I think uh, we have mountain and forest. Hello. Yes, very good. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, what about... Okay, what about this one, my dear? Okay, for example, in my country, we have a, a rule like Act of uh, Act of 9003. Oh, 9003. It is a law, all right? It means that we need to do ecological solid waste management. It means we need to th throw the plastic for another trash. We need to separate the leaves. We need to separate the plastic, all right? That is a law, okay? And we are not allowed to throw garbages in the river. How about in your country or in your place? Are you allowed to throw garbages in the river or in the ocean? In the ocean. Yes, are you allowed? It means, is it okay in your country if you're going to throw? Yes. Yes, why? Yes, why is my it okay? country is very ugly. And what? Your country is very ugly? Yes, I don't like my, I don't like Vietnam. Oh no, so, okay, maybe you can live in another place. Where do you want to live then, if you don't like don't your know. country? I don't know yet, but can as long as you are there, you were born in Vietnam, your family is there, your your blood, okay, right, it runs Vietnamese, and of course you cannot remove that from you. You are a Vietnamese, okay. So of course we need to we need to love our country. We need to love our place, okay. Okay. And if all right, if our country is ugly of, or if our place is ugly, let's help the people to make it more beautiful, okay? Okay. Yes. 
What about, okay, let's have here the next one. Uh, part three again. Are there laws about education in Vietnam? No. There is no law about education? When we yes. say education, Ken, it's about your studies. There's no rule about education in your country? Just, or in your school? Yes, because in Vietnam we not have any... Uh, in Vietnam we, the people not have the the consign uh the consciousness. Our conscience? conscience. Yes. All right. Oh, so you you can do whatever you want. Yes. Hmm. I don't think so, Ken. Because I am also Vietnamese. Did you know? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So of, maybe not all people, okay? Don't say all people, okay? Or all Vietnamese because, of course, there are also good people, right? They are following this law. They're following rules. And, of course, there are also people, not only in your country, but also in my country. Right? We cannot avoid those people. But... The important thing is you are not one of them, okay? You are not one of those people who don't follow school laws. Right? So yes. how about this one, Ken? What kinds of rules do schools in Vietnam have? Okay, for example, in your school before when there's no COVID-19, what are the rules? that you have in your school? I think it's... Um, I cannot remember. <laughs> you cannot remember? Because it's been... It's almost two years when you don't yes. go to school? Oh, no. All right. For example, can in my country... Uh, it's like no bullying. Yeah, oh. it's just... A... Yeah, it's very good. That's number one, okay? That is number one rule, no bullying. What does it mean, Ken, when we say no bullying? Okay, when we say no bullying, what will you do? It's not bullying the everyone. Yes, you should not hurt other people or you should not hurt other kids through yes. your through your words. Don't say bad words to them. Don't uh, don't say negative words. I mean, not negative, like bad words. Okay. Another one, don't hit them. Okay. That is bullying. Very good. What else? Maybe you can still remember more. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember. Okay, you cannot remember anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ken, all right, Ken. Okay, I will give you time, okay, to make your answers here, okay? What are the rules that you broke before when you are studying? Or when you I go to school. I cannot remember. Oh, you cannot remember anymore. Okay, so Ken, I think I'll give you a three minutes break. All right, three minute break for you to remember. Okay, and I will also share you the rules in my school. Okay. Okay. Okay.
All right, Logan. Good. Are you there? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Our time is up now. So we have here, okay, we are talking a while ago about the rules. Okay, you said you cannot remember anymore. So that's okay because maybe it's been a long time since you didn't uh, go to school. Or right, I'll just give you what's that? I'll just give you uh, some examples. Okay. The first one is no to no bullying, all right? Another rule is no smoking, right? No oh, smoke. Yes. yes, no smoking. Uh for example, when you have uniform, you need to wear your complete uniform. Okay? When you go to school, another one is uh, you should not be late. Okay? You shouldn't be late in school. Hmm. Uh, no vandali vandalism. Do you know vandalism? Or oh, no littering. Do you know? No littering. Do you know this one, Ken? Yes. Means, okay, yes. When we say no littering, it means don't throw your trash everywhere, okay? Yes. You need to throw your trash in the garbage bin. Another one is no vandalism yes when we say vandalism can it means you are going to spray on the walls of your school yes you're going yeah. to write like this one paint it's not allowed because there are some students who are hard-headed they use paint to to write on the wall of the class of the school and that's not allowed you called it no vandalism okay all right that's it okay let's move on here with number four number four okay here what can oh no what right what can teachers do to make students obey rules when we say obey it means follow what do you yes. think teachers what do you think teachers do to make students follow the rules in school? Do you have any idea? No. Oh no. What about your teacher before? What is she doing or what did she do when you are late? When you bully someone, what is he going to do? Uh, my um, she, uh, my teacher always punch the children. What? <laughs> oh, your teacher is allowed to punch? Yes. Oh, maybe the parents of the child will will tell that to the police. No. Okay. No, no, because in my country, or not only in my country, but okay in other countries teachers are not allowed to punch teachers are not allowed to hit students that's yes. the rule that's the rule for teachers okay so if we have rules for students we also have rules to follow we are not allowed to hit or or punch students 
Okay, maybe your teacher will ask you to to call your mom, to call your dad in school if you bully someone, and they will talk to your parents. What about number four, Ken? Can you read number four? No. What should? What do you mean now? What should what? parents do to is that children of allows. Okay, what about parents? Okay, what should parents do to educate? When we say educate, uh, teach. Okay, teach children about loss. Like your mom, Ken, what is she going, uh, what is she doing for you to learn how to follow this loss? Is she teaching you? What are you going to do? No. Oh, what about your dad? No, too? Um, ah, so your dad told you to punch? Mm -hmm, okay. So our parents should educate us or uh, teach us right on how to follow this kind of oh, I, I hear something what's mm -mm. that wait i think that's my computer okay what about this time can you hear it now no more okay i think there's no more okay now ken let's have here number six. Oh, i think this is a very good topic you will describe a town or a city where you would like to live oh, in the future. What? Okay. All right. So describe a town or city where you would you like to live in the future. You said you don't like to live in your place, right? So where do you want to live in the future or when you grow up? Where is he? Uh, yes. I think... Uh, oh. Oh, are you sleepy now? I think it's uh, in America. Oh, in America. Wow. And where is in America? Oh, America is very big. Yes. Oh, which I'll... city? Uh, do you want to live in, in New York, in Canada? Uh, yeah. Oh, New York. Wow. And how did you know New York? How I you guess. knew it? Uh, New York has a very tall uh, tower. Oh, tall tower. Oh, what about uh, what about Eiffel Tower? Oh, I Wait. think I want. I think I want to live here. Uh, okay, here. Burj Khalifa. This is. I think this is the tallest building. Did oh, you know yes. This? Oh, this is Burj Khalifa. This is the tallest building, right? In Dubai. You can find this in Dubai. All right. Words, tallest building. Whoa, I think I love this one. Okay. Burj Khalifa. But you said you wanted to live in New York. Yes. New York is a very beautiful city. You can see the stage of liberty, right? This is stage of liberty. And they have tall buildings, okay? All right, what about the next question, Ken? Um, what is it famous for? Uh, New York, what is it famous for? Uh, famous. You don't know? Yes. 
Oh, New York is very famous be because of their food and because of Statue of Liberty and because of New York Fashion, what? Fashion Week. This one, you you can see Nani? a lot of, yeah, you can see a lot of models here. This is very famous around the world. New York oh. Fashion Week. All right, there are many, many designers who joined here, many models, okay? All right, and Broadway, all right. Do you know Broadway? Wow, look at these models, okay? They're very famous for this one. Well, I don't fashion. like that. Yes, you don't like don't it. Like yes, and New York is also famous for business, all right? Okay, business, because New York is a, a rich city, okay? Right. Okay, next one, Ken. Why, you, why would you like or why you would like to live in New York? Hmm. Why you would like to live in New York? Uh, I don't know because I think New York is a beautiful place. All right, New York is a beautiful place. Are you going to live there with your family or uh, just you? My family. All right, can you say, I will live there with my family? I will live there with my family. And with your sister. Okay. So now, Ken, we have another lesson here, part three. All right, why do more and more people live in the city? Okay, why do more and more people live in the city? Like you, you, will, you wanted to live in the city in the future when you grow up. And also many people, why? Why is it like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the reasons, Ken? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. All right. What about you? Do you live in the countryside or in the city? In, I think in the city. Oh, in the city. All right. Of course, when it, you are living in the city, there are many buildings, cinema, supermarkets, hospitals. There are many schools. Do you have those things? park all right so again many people wanted to live in the city because there are many places to go there like malls and there are many jobs okay and like in the province right there are limited jobs okay that's why people wanted to live there what about you ken do you also want to live in the city No. No, but you wanted to live in New York City. Yes. That's a city also. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yes, New York is a city. Yes. Uh, so your answer would be yes. Yes, I want to live in the city, right? Okay. What about uh, how does this affect the environment and nature? For example, can there are many people in the city. Do you think that's good also? Do you think that's good that there are many people in the city? There are lots of pollution.
Hmm. Is it good for the nature or good for the environment if there are many people in the city? Good in the future. Nature. Good for the nature. nature. Ah, not good in the nature. All right. It's not good. Why? Why do you think it's not good? Because what will happen? What will happen to the nature? Or to nature? A company and uh, and yes, learning uh, something like uh, smoke. Yes, very good. And that smoke will become or will produce carbon dioxide and it will turn into pollution. And if there are many people, of course, they will use many cars and that will turn into air pollution also okay wow very good what about do you think there are trees or a lot of trees in the city okay what about trees ken do you think there are many trees in the city yes i think that better oh are you sure no it's Oh, yes, not having in many trees. All right, yes, they don't have. Yes, they don't have many trees because they cut trees. They're cutting trees for them to build buildings, companies, right? That's so sad. Okay, what about number three? Okay, number three, Ken, what are some factors? Oh, that attract people to settle down in certain places. Okay, can I will change the question here or I will make it more uh, easy. Okay, for example, why do you think people, what are the reasons why people settle down? When we say settle down, they wanted to live in that place forever. What are the reasons people wanted to to live in that place forever? Like for you, what makes you want or what made you think you wanted to live in New York? Or some because people wanted to live New York is more than more than Yes, it is more than more than beautiful, yes. more convenient. More All right, for yeah, more yeah. convenient. Okay. For example, they will look at the hospital. And if you live in the province, the hospitals are very far, right? Unlike in the city, there are many schools, there are many, there are many supermarkets, many hospitals, many jobs. That's yeah. why people wanted to live there. But uh, people also wanted to live in the province because of nature. Right? Yeah, just like me. I don't want to live in the city. Oh, what are you doing now? Okay. Hello, Ken. Hello. All right. So, are you okay? All right. So now, Ken, this will be uh, another question for you. What are, all right, what are the differences between? Okay, are you, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so what are the differences between the young and the old in choosing where to live? I don't know. Ah, uh, you're not, you're thinking and you said you don't know. You have a, you have the right answer, <laughs> all right? You think of your answer right away. It's no, you don't know. All right, for example, Ken, your mom, okay? For example, your mom told you, Ken, we will live to another place. 
but you will choose where it is. Uh -huh. What will you do? I don't do anything. You will not, not do, do anything? anything. Yes. <laughs> All right. For example, your mom asked you, uh, you can choose wherever we want to live. Don't you want to, to live in another place? Mm -hmm. All right, so can. All right. I give you your homework for this one because you said you don't know. Okay. What are the reasons? Right. Why? Okay, give. Right, give five reasons. All right, here can give five reasons why people move to another place. Okay, give five reasons why people move to another place. All right, did you get that, Ken? No. Oh, you can read the sentence again in our chat box. Okay, I see that. All right, so I want you to read that. I want you to do your homework. And please don't forget, okay? All right, okay. so thank you so much, Ken, for having you in my class. I'll see you again next meeting. So goodbye. Bye-bye. Yeah,